Colonel Gaddafi and those who still stand by him continue to grossly and systematically abuse the most fundamental human rights of Libya's people. This resolution demands an immediate ceasefire and a complete end to violence and attacks against civilians. I'm no fan of Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi, but this is outrageous. The United Nations Security Council has voted not just for a no-fly zone. Now the British, the French, and the U.S. have announced that they may start as early as tomorrow, just a few hours in Libya, airstrikes on Muammar Gaddafi's military bases and, quote, emplacements. This is all-out war. Ron Paul, a few weeks ago, when there were calls for the no-fly zone, pointed out that that is a blockade of the air and is an act of war. This is the globalist empire who loves putting dictators in other nations and has a long history of it, simply going after one of their enemies. They've been behind the revolutions in Egypt. They've been behind other revolutions as part of a program of destabilization that Zbigniew Brzezinski has written about. And to watch the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Susan Rice, get up there and put on her Oscar-winning actress skills and say, it's terrible, he might be bombing civilians. We've got to do something. And the U.N. says, yes, we agree, have a no-fly zone. And then within minutes, it becomes a actual air war bombing his grounded placements. When the U.S. military and CIA has over a 1,000 drones in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Pakistan killing no-name terrorists, anyone on the ground with a gun in a country that has more guns like Afghanistan than Texas, it's so incredibly hypocritical. Our country's bankrupt, our dollar's dying, and while the world is watching the Japanese Fukushima meltdown with radiation set to reach the West Coast tomorrow on Friday, the world isn't looking and a new war against Libya under the guise of a no-fly zone is about to start bombing ground targets. This happened because the CIA and the globalists thought their hired proxies with British SAS commandos advising them could overthrow Gaddafi. But he's now retaking city after city, including the last major city held by Western-backed rebels, Benghazi. And so armaments are pouring in from globalist-controlled Egypt. The airstrikes are about to begin on the ground, another war run by this empire. And remember, America's not doing this. America's been financially captured by the very same globalist banking cartel that is now launching this new war. Everybody should call Congress, call the White House, and tell them, stop this new illegal war, at least have Congress declare war, something that hasn't happened since World War II. Basically, this is like the Bay of Pigs. But instead of some communist dictator, they're going after a North African dictator, and it's all about oil, and it's wrong. But again, Secretary of Defense Gates a few months ago said, I don't care if 70-plus percent of Americans want us out of Afghanistan. They always push the date back two years. And they don't care what we want here or what's unconstitutional. This is about global domination using America's blood, sweat, and treasure, and it's destroying our name. Leave North Africa to the North Africans like our first president, George Washington, said. No foreign entanglements. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.